It's story time for me, but the storyteller isn't who you would suspect. Two witches, they're supposed to go to school, but they're in like a human town and they're like, they miss a bus and nobody knows where the school actually is. Guadalupe Elementary third grader Layla is actually telling me about one of her favorite books. She loves to read for the thrills. Mm, I like where there's a lot of adventure, adventure and stuff. Like kind of just a normal person's life, but big plot twist happens and stuff. But some students are geared towards something they say is more their speed. Like sports, like soccer books. Soccer books. Soccer. Soccer books. We only had three soccer books when I came in, and so we've gotten a lot more nonfiction soccer books, as well as I'm trying to get fiction ones, so they have stories about soccer. No matter if you're reading about witches on their brooms like Layla, or turning the pages on a bio of Cristiano Ronaldo, librarian Angie Castillo has her students covered. So they absolutely love these scary stories. I'll take into account if they ask me, can you get this series or look into this? I'll do research if I don't know what it is. Or if I already know, like, oh, they're checking out a lot of dog books. You know, let's, let's get some more dog books on the shelf. This third grade class tells me they love library time. Like, I could see lots of books, but one thing I don't like about it is that there's so many books that I like so I can't choose. But having access to books shouldn't be taken for granted. According to the National Literacy Trust, a 2019 survey found that one in five children do not have books of their own at home. For Castillo, that fact makes a school's library experience that much more important. She says their library receives many donations, which gets books into the hands of young students that otherwise may not get them. We're doing library cards this year, so the scanning process will just go easier. And not all of them are familiar with a library card system which means they haven't gone to a public library as often or they just haven't. And so that introduces them to books they might not know. Castillo says she wants every child to be able to build their own at home library. But until that can happen, they will happily fill in the gaps because if you give a child a book, you can take them to places that maybe you won't physically be able to take them. So I've been able to fly in a plane with Amelia Earhart or, you know, be a vampire, <laughs> which really isn't going to happen. But through all these different books, they can be in different places.